Hello, everyone. Uh, can everyone hear us okay? Uh, in the live chat, you can just post yes so that we make sure our setup is correct. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, so people are replying now. Looks like our setup is good. We'll probably wait for maybe a few minutes and then we'll get started. It's an uh, it's a very excited, ex exciting announcement that we are making today for a yes, very sir. special project. And uh, we'll, uh, all right, so we get so many yes from the live chat now. So we are on a Zoom call, by the way. We are announcing a special project today and the, on the Zoom call, you see the entire team. So everyone on the Zoom, uh, let's mute. And then as the person is speaking, you can unmute yourself. So let's initially, let's everyone mute because I will start, spend few minutes and then uh, we'll give it to Mahesh. Thank you, Mohammad Fozan, uh, Lassisi, Sai, Siddhu, Jatin, Sudarshan, Bhaskar, Pradeep Kumar, Nitesh, Abhishek. Uh, we are very glad to have all of you here. On, this, on Zoom, Sangam, can you mute? On Zoom, everyone, let's mute. Everyone on the Zoom, please mute. Sangam? Okay, I think I, I can mute. All right, so everyone, we are very happy to announce this uh, project called ProxGen. So what is ProxGen and why are we having this live event? And who are all these people that you are seeing on YouTube Live? So I'll tell you the whole story. Few months back, a person named Mahesh reached out to me. Uh, he's uh, right now on the call and he is one of the subscribers of YouTube channel and he's also a member of our Discord community. And he sent me a very heart touching message describing his life story and how he wants to, uh, how he wants to fulfill his dream of helping blind people. So Mahesh, I will briefly tell you Mahesh story. Mahesh was a, a diploma computer science student. He lives in Andhra Pradesh. He lives in actually a very small village in Andhra Pradesh. And he went through a terrible tragedy in his life where his life was going as usual. He, he, he's a very brilliant student. He was studying. And one day he fell down from a tree and then he had a huge injury in his spine and he, he became quadriplegic after that. He, he stayed, he thought he would die, but luckily he survived and he kind of, unfortunately, he lost his limbs. So right now, Mahesh is on the call. He lives in Andhra Pradesh village, very ambitious, very smart and, and, and a noble human being. But because of this tragedy, he lost his... Uh, limbs basically so he's not able to walk right now and also hand he can use it for typing etc but not fully functional and then you know when this kind of tragedy happens in anyone's life your life kind of takes a complete u-turn so he uh what he did was just uh, let me change it to speaker view uh, Okay, I'll just keep it as a gallery view. So what uh, he started doing was started learning things on his own. And he came up with this idea of helping blind people. So although Mahesh himself is going through difficulties in his life, he has this huge heart and a willingness to help blind people. So using AI, NLP, and IoT, can we help blind people and make a wearable device like uh, like this spectacles where you know there are cameras and the cameras can 
scan the surrounding and it can um, basically do a conversation using NLP. So using computer vision, we detect what's going on if there is an obstacle and then using NLP, that device can have a human-like interaction with the blind person. So the blind person doesn't have to need another human being to help uh, with assistance. So he had this vision. He shared with me and I was touched by it. And I said, okay, I can provide whatever help I can. So then I reached out on our Discord community. We identified a couple of people and we started this project. So the project has been started. It's been one month. My whole role in this project has been that of a facilitator. I'm not doing coding, but I'm mentoring uh, this awesome team. I am providing resources, whatever resources you need. And the idea behind this live session is that I want to tell every one of you that there is this kind of noble cause related project that is being executed uh, by this awesome team. And I want to make world aware that th there is this good work going on. And the second objective is we are looking for volunteers. So the volunteers who can help us and we have a Google form which we are going to post in the live chat. So Mahesh, can you post a link of that Google form in the live chat? I will also add that Google form in the video description of this chat. And then um, we will invite volunteers, basically the people who can join our team, who can help us. And then we will take this project to our next level. So with that, uh, I think you kind of got an idea of, of this live stream. So the idea, be, just to summarize, the idea behind the live stream is twofold. First, we want to let the world know that we are doing this awesome project, which is using NLP, computer vision, and IoT. And then we, we are looking for volunteers, the people who can help with this project. And when you participate in this project, there are a couple of benefits that you will get. The first one is you will get to work on the most hottest technologies in the world, which is computer vision, NLP, and IoT. Second is you will interact with a lot of experts here. So in this chat right now, people that you are seeing, um, there are ML engineers. Um, Arvind is an IoT developer. And more than that, these are the human beings with a pure heart and the people who wants to utilize their free time for a noble cause you know we live in this world our whole life for selfish motive we we want to spend our time for our own self our family we want to earn money for ourselves but can we spend our capabilities in really some noble cause some some selfless initiative and for that reason more than talented engineers, the people on the call are the finest human beings I have ever met. So I want you all to meet these people as well. And with that, uh, Mahesh, you can now unmute and you can share your screen. And Mahesh will now uh, go over the little presentation. It won't take much time. And then we'll open up for questions later. Yeah, Mahesh, go ahead. So can you please enable the screen? Oh yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So I will now, yeah, you can share it now. Yes. Okay, uh, good evening guys. Uh, I hope you have all have a great evening there. Yeah. Um, yeah, the officer introduced me uh, almost everything about me. Yes, I'm from Andhra Pradesh and uh, uh, I completed my diploma in uh, American Diploma in Computer Engineering. And I discontinued my BTEC uh, in second year due to an accident. 
uh, you know, since then, uh, which is why it's happened five years back. And since then, uh, I admitted in uh, Hyderabad Names Hospital. And uh, anyhow, I have survived. And uh, yeah, but uh, uh, it's changed so many things. And I, and, I, and I lost my father also. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, it's, it's it's turned my life into dark, and it's changed everything, everything, and it's destroyed my hopes and uh, for career, career, um, everything. But uh, since my diploma days, I mean, uh, when I conscious about tech wall, I strongly believed that AI has the potential to change the mankind. So since then, I. I, I I I grow my passion in artificial intelligence, and since then I have this dream that one day I will I will create an AI company that serves the mankind, not for the billionaires or um, a showcase in androids, but it should be useful for a normal people, for everyone whose the great minds are precise. So I started this proxy and I approached the towel sir with the idea and just and uh, now we are choosing of first project my, from my, my people are saying their voice is not audible can you speak little loudly or can you see if you can do anything okay so now okay yeah now it's now, okay yes, yeah, sir, just say, uh, yeah say a little yeah. loudly yeah that's it yeah 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 and uh, now uh today we came uh, uh our first project from proxen that is completely for the blind people, millions of blind people across the world. And, and the project we named it as a okay, Fox Vision. And this is completely for the blind peoples and it serves them and it makes them to feel they're not blind anymore. And they will, they, they, they will explore themselves, they will explore their abilities, and they will do the better for mankind. This is the purpose of the Prox vision. And the device should be look like something looks like this. It's a wearable glasses mounted with the uh, micro symbol camera micro visible camera and this this camera rotates uh, three three axes x y z just like our eyes and uh, it's uh, it can adjust the its focus based on the uh, sensors based on the sensor we are using a lidar sensor because uh, uh, unlike the radar sensor, lidar is very fast. It emits the beam of a light pulses, and it counts the time, the reflection to the uh, reflecting back time to the sensor. And uh, based on that pulses, it it measures the ranges between the approaching objects precisely. So by using these most powerful devices, one is micro symbol camera and one is the most advanced and super fast lidar sensor the, the this uh, a spectacle like device is uh, is completely operates automatically without the interaction uh, from the user because he, he don't know what's going on around him so this device is not dependent on uh, the user it's just i guess it's a lenses based on the uh, based on the conditions, situations around him. Just uh, for example, take an example. From this side is an object moving. So the symbol camera moves this side and alert him what's going on around him and let him know what is that and what is happening there. So.
so this project this prox vision project uh, mainly have four four key functionalities four key uh, features that we are most serious about one is the great accuracy the great accuracy means uh, yeah we all know that machine learning is uh, in machine learning accuracy is the great metric one of the uh, important metric to measure the models and here the great accuracy is very much because we are i know we are dealing with the blind lives so we never compromise we should never compromise in the accuracy and yeah it's uh, we are achieving this i i am I'm, uh, i'm confident and it should also uh, perform the models ultra fast because things are happened in reality instantly so there is no place for delay something it's happened just it's in form it acts fastly and it's in form and it alerts the customer it alerts that blind person and then third thing is a smart navigation just like i mentioned in before slide it adjusts its lenses just uh, unlike other things it uh, it adjusts its lenses it uses its powerful lidar sensor just uh, it's uh, if it, there is anything obstacle is coming and if there is anything obstacle coming this side it immediately alerts him and if there is if this path is not good then immediately it refers to this path so uh, unlike the just like uh, it's not uh, it's not looking like a completely artificial intelligence device but we make them we make sure that it is like a our human brain our human eyes that's the uh, my mm, our strong well, what we, we we take it so seriously and then fourth thing the key feature and the, the most powerful and advanced feature is human like conversation it's not like an alexa it's not like an siri uh, those we ask the question it says the answer but no this prox vision is just like it create the conversation based on the uh, based on the reality what's going on around it it's not say there is an object there is a uh, dog there is a tree not long but it says something like it creates the conversation like i'm talking with you just like a blind a friend of blind person uh, helping him to cross the road so it is the one of the most powerful and we are very serious about this feature in prox in project sorry prox vision project so it's not simple it's not that simple to achieve these four features it's not simple we are using a great technologies i will discuss in later slide here uh, the basic idea we are, i think you all know about this uh, it's normal we are using sensors and we are using computer vision as an our input as we discussed in a previous uh, and second or third slide so it captures the uh, uh, everything uh, in image format or no uh, or video format or in frames it captures the everything around him like in 360 and uh, no no uh like a 30 degrees each each uh, each lens is and it figure out what is it and it's uh, by using sensors uh, it uh, it measure the approaching object and it alerts him it detects everything trees like a weather trees means weather uh wind speed everything and the sidewalks footpath the traffic uh, road lines and like that and the traffic signals which are very important while crossing the road and especially in heavy traffic and the people individual people and group of people and uh, and the animals it's actually potential danger from animals <laughs> so and these are uh, uh, regular activities in the real world like playing a boy playing ball football it is also a potential risk for the blind person while we he walking in park or somewhere and the approaching objects like car this this will be also helpful in traffic so yeah as i mentioned in before it should create a conversation 
based on the pre previous plan slide in computer vision, the conversation should be look like this. Two guys are running across the road in dangerous traffic. It is dangerous for us too, as we are in the middle of road and a car approaching us. Let's walk two more meters to reach the divider. So this is the, we are going to achieve this, all features, this wonderful and most advanced technologies we are using to achieve these wonderful features that makes what artificial intelligence really serves him and kind in its full potential is these four. One is a natural language processing to provide the conversation. And the computer vision is the most important as we all know that it's completely 80% uh, of work is completely dependent on computer vision. And the IoT device, it connects the device into the several networks and uh, the operations, all operations are running in cloud. So that's why it should be faster and uh, not heavy it's very lightweight when we run it in cloud and we are using python and tensorflow and this open cv and the pytorch framework and scikit learn libraries low and and the this not only these technologies but we are uh, not only these things, but we are also going to use some um, image, uh, uh, image tracking, uh, object tracking, object detection, object classification, optical flow technique, and uh, the uh, semantic segmentation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We are going to some. Yeah, it's it must need to achieve these sort of key features, and yeah, uh, we all know that the double sir is there. Uh, kind and it's a special human being that i ever met in my life and he's the backbone of me and this proxy and the proxy vision I contacted him sir didn't take a just one hour within one hour or within half an hour he replied me with a positive supportive word i still remember then I still remember them in my mind and his his support i never expected and never I, I, and my time i never expected that my 10 years dream come true this day and immediately he introduced me to his one of the who is one brother just as kind as him Bain patel sir he's the founder of athletic technologies and the sir immediately uh, called me through a call, phone call and the supporting words that talked with me are still resonating in my ears. That's the awesome moment. We, uh, it's uh, it's honor. It's a uh, proud to say I am supported by the these two giants. And the team, the team thought that was uh, introduced me to or the awesome team. So I never met any team like that in my in my life. This is uh, Karandeep Singh. We all know he's often in uh, uh, Code Basics channel, and the, it's very experienced and skilled person. He's working in uh, Athletic Technologies as manager and senior developer. It's very on honor to working beside him, and the and the Vedan. He's the guy, very cool, and even he's the uh, just completed work. I still amazed about his his skills he have in this age, and he's doing C1 videos in Skill Basics channel. Uh, it's uh, he's he's a very great person, and the Rishab, he's machine learning engineer, and he's studying in Equine University and in third year, computer science engineering. And the Aravin hardware engineering is the only one handling the all IoT IoT development site for this project. He's a he's a brave man, and uh, and the Sangam is machine learning engineer, and the Nihal he's also 
a data scientist currently working as a data scientist at a bangalore based company uh, he's also a great coach and great developer and here's uh, our website if you uh, if you are willing to uh, join with us or if you know more about uh, our this uh, uh, this great novel cost project please free, feel free to visit our uh, website proxen.com and there you can see the button uh, join with us and there you can uh, if you submit a few details of you i will respond you within few minutes so this is uh, our website yes that's it thank you very much thank you very much to uh, joining with us in this evening and uh, and one more thing so mahesh you can unshare your screen now and thank you very much for your awesome presentation for volunteer should we use google form or the website yes uh, there is a website uh, also uh, can you please once enable the screen i will show it in live yeah 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 show it you 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 are already sharing yeah yeah okay thanks sure here is so everyone now if anyone wants to volunteer here is the process so go to proxgen.com okay and yeah, my so we, we we were thinking of using google form so we are not using google form now no so here in website we have kind of our join with uh, with us okay. a button in mm. navigation bar and if you click on this the button without loading any external link or anything delay it uh, the form will appear on your screen just asking a few details name email and phone number and uh, if you are if you willing to provide your linkedin profile link that would be great helpful to us and your current position student data scientist type of developer or any other and please let us know a few details what exactly inspired you to work with us if you just fill up this form and click the submit button directly it will send to me and i will respond you within uh, a few minutes this is the form sir perfect perfect so i am i am updating the live chat now so that anyone who wants to volunteer can volunteer and i am also updating the video description you can unshare your screen now sure sir and click on join us button at top right so everyone i am updating our video description now so video description also has details on how you can volunteer someone is saying uh, website is not opening i think webs oh sorry yeah wait there is some issue or oh, resource limit reached looks like website is having some issue mahesh uh we need to work on that can you put that google form mahesh mahesh you uh, website has some issues right now see it says resource limit reached so can you send me the google form can you post google form in the live chat uh Yes, sir. Sure, sure. I will share. So, everyone, website um, website is not opening. Sorry about that. Website is having some issue. We are going to post an alternative, which is a Google form, which you can uh, use. So, let's. Uh... Mahesh, you are posting in the live chat now. Google form. Yes, sir. I am posting. Okay, so everyone, Mahesh is posting. the google form in the live chat so if you want to volunteer uh please uh, fill that form now let me be very honest we are looking for volunteers who are really motivated okay it's not like you want to learn something and you, you have to please make sure that this project is a serious project it's not like you know you want to try it out for few hours and leave it so if you are committed then only please uh, uh decide to volunteer second thing is we are looking for some experts in computer vision so if you have already done some work in computer vision or nlp or iot or you know anyone let's say your cousin or someone who is working 
with who has experience in computer vision or who is working with some big company and they know how these things work then we are looking for such volunteers people who already know things if you don't know anything let's say these things are new then you know if you become part of it then it's like our project might get delayed we will still accept all the volunteers and then we'll have an interview process we'll go through let's say we get 100 volunteers of course if we get on onboard 100 people in one shot the project will become a big chaos so we will carefully select people for this project and when you fill the form in the comment please mention why we should choose you for this project why we should onboard you for this project so you should mention your skill set why you are a best fit for this project and based on that and based on the probably mahesh or i someone will have a conversation with you and based on that will select the people so unfortunately not everyone will get selected this is we have only limited position as of now and uh in the form please make sure you describe your profile properly because based on that you will be selected so mahesh you did you post the google form yeah yes sir yes i will post it i will post it post in the live chat uh so arvind rishab nihal do you guys have anything to say since you are here on the call anything you want to add <laughs> yes sir i have to add something yeah so i'm first of all very happy to be in this team and working on this project uh, as sir said we need some experts uh, particularly in iot because uh, i'm the only guy working on hardware so i uh, i need some resources uh, in uh, particularly in hardware pure hardware it, 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 uh, it uh, doesn't need uh, people who know softwares if you know hardware like pcb designing so it would be very useful in the uh, proof of concept uh, we, we, while we making the proof of concept so and iot developers uh, it will be fine if any one of the developer have some experience so it will be somewhat easier to guide everyone in uh, the field of iot so that's yep. the thing i want to say yeah so good point so my arvin is the only iot developer he has electronics and communication background he is working as a iot developer in some company you are in chennai right uh, arvin uh, yes now i am working from home i am your, in my hometown kolkata right but you, your company that you work for is in chennai yeah yeah yes sir. okay so arvin is working as an iot developer for a company in chennai but he is the only iot developer in the team right now so anyone who knows hardware will be a great addition uh, to the team uh mahesh i think uh, should i look at your chat and get that form google form yeah uh, actually uh, i'm i'm missing that form so i'm searching okay i, I got There's one some, form uh, some, yes. i got this form hold on mahesh yes, let me uh, share yes sir let, let me show you is this the form guys everyone sorry for the confusion is this the form what is your name email phone number linkedin i think this is the form okay so i will go and post this form okay yes sir all right yes sir yes, sir that's so okay. everyone now the the thing that you are looking for everyone is asking <laughs> about volunteer form so sorry about the confusion yeah and uh, this is the form everyone yeah, and now website also working. website is also work website also working i think yeah website is also working so you can either volunteer submit a form uh, volunteer through this form or a website anything is good so i posted a form link in the live chat now if everyone is seeing it just respond saying that yeah i can access arvind and nihal like you guys can you guys click on that form and make sure you are able to access it i am now updating yeah, a sure. video I'm updating a video description as oh, well. Oh yes, sir. I'm yeah, access. I can. I can open. I'm accessing it. Okay, you can access. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. It is accessible. It is accessible. Good. Good. Uh, yes. So I'm going to post now. Everyone, can you access above Google? And uh, actually, yeah. the the heavy traffic that uh, that that's why it's 
episode has started i know i know it's it's good see my so many people want to join your noble cause so it's it's actually yes. it's good <laughs> yes. yes okay good good so uh okay so looks like people are able to access the google form nlp means natural language processing good thank you nitesh uh so yeah uh, please uh, submit the form for if you want to volunteer i want to mention once again we are looking for we are in need of people who are who have some experience already either in computer vision nlp or hardware iot okay and as far see this is the arrangement of the project so my role in this project is a facilitator so i invite people i kind of coordinate the whole thing i am not doing any active coding unfortunately because i am already committed to so many other things in my life and i don't think i have time for that but at least i am once in a while i get onto a call with these folks the, the, these folks are very self organized they conduct meetings they have weekly meetings they do scrum they they are doing they are executing the project in a professional manner and i get onto a call once in a while then if they need more people i do this kind of live session i reach out to my network on linkedin and i get those resources in my brother's company atlic is also providing support in whatever way it can also me and my brother have some connections so le- see later on the goal of this project is right now it's bunch of volunteers trying to build a poc once we have a poc we can reach out to either corporates some ngo or even government uh, offices we have connections in some government offices as well and we can utilize those connections and we can reach out to maybe even pm office in india and maybe we can uh, present this project to them and if let's say government of india or uh, decides to support it or some ngo or some corporates see corporates also have philanthropy divisions so if some corporate supports and provide us funding then we can take this project to next level meanwhile if we have little cost uh, i can i can help with that and um, it's just like as a group i think we can achieve this vision that mahesh uh, has come up with and i think we all should try our best to help mahesh as much as we can because as i said we live our whole life just working for ourselves our family and earning money but this is a perfect opportunity where you can make an impact you can use your knowledge your skills to leave a good impact on blind people once we have built this uh, device properly uh is going to make life so much easier for so many blind people because blind people the biggest issue is they want to go out somewhere they need one person and you know it's often hard to get uh assistance in in form of a you know one human being with you all, being with you all the time instead of that if you have that wearable device your life becomes much more easier all right so now i will open up uh so if you have any questions please post in a live chat we'll spend next 10 minutes probably in answering any questions that people has okay varun is saying sir tata startup is help i hope yeah sure tata well the good thing is uh, i have some friends working for tata still so maybe good varun that you mention i can probably reach out to those folks and see if they can help the idea right now is we want to build at least some poc because when you go to these people you know big corporates or government organization they want to have something you don't you can't just go like that so we want to build something some first version and then we'll start reaching out to these companies uh i think it would be good to reach out to have input from the actual people in the blind community Yes that's a good suggestion so mahesh uh i think what we should yes. do is in the chat people are providing the suggestions and question we should uh, even after the live stream is over the whole chat will be accessible so we yes, should sir. look at this suggestion and maybe come up with some action items yes uh, and one person suggesting to add the 
of face recognition yeah, 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 but uh, for this uh, version for this current version we're making it is uh, in the next version we are using um, we are introducing the uh, some security features and the two-way communications and uh, and yeah as you said the face recognition system and uh, yeah the this kind of gps gps also we are in the next version we are all adding these uh, uh, some extra powerful features so for mm. this we uh, for this present current version in this uh, primary version uh, we we are focused on the basic functionalities of the uh, device uh, like uh, uh, navigating safely 100% with 100% accuracy so and uh, yeah we focused on this current version uh, with these uh, four key functionalities so yeah, mm -hmm. in the next version, we will add the another extra uh, security and uh, safe features, and also we are, we will add the next version like uh, uh, SOS. So whenever the a blind person is in a critical situation and uh, in any emergency need, then automatically it will connect to the uh, nearest uh, uh, police station or, or his close uh, family, relatives, friends. And uh, if it if it is necessary, it will also collect uh, connect to the nearest uh, ambulance and uh, nearest the uh, clinic clinic center. So, yeah, in, in the next version, we will implement this all. I I, yeah, I explained this all to the those here in in the pro, uh, project proposal day. So yeah, these all features will come into uh, to the project in the next version. Okay, now Harshal Dev is saying that Professor Rajiv Ratna Shah from IIT Delhi is his professor. He has a lab named Midas and uh, he's working on NLP and stuff. So we can reach out to his guidance. So that's a good idea. So Harshal, can you, uh, can you send me an email? So can you send me an email on this? So I'm giving you my email ID. So please send me an email uh, for Dr. Rajiv Shah from IIT Delhi so that I will reach out to him and we'll see if, how we can collaborate with IIT Delhi on this. Okay, so thank you, Harshal. Harshal, thank you very much for giving. See, so this is the kind of contribution we are looking for. If you know someone, see right now on the team, there are a couple of talented individual, but I think no one is too much experience actually. Honestly, I'm also not very experienced in computer vision. So if you know some lab like IIT Delhi is doing this work or some corporate, or if you have some friend, let's say who is working on Google, Amazon, some, some expert guys, if you know, then please help us uh, get those projects, connect or get those uh, folks connect with me. So my I have posted my email ID in this chat. So on that email ID, send me an email and help me connect with those folks so that we can get uh, more capable people on this team and we can move, uh, we can uh, make faster progress in this project. So yeah, we need people who are experienced. First need we have is computer, NLP will come little later, but computer vision and hardware is our most immediate requirement. And especially if someone has done video processing, you know, like video, like video object detection and um, things like that. So, all right. Anyone has any other questions, suggestion, or uh, any uh, thoughts? I just added. I just added the my email address in my chat also, sir. Okay. Okay, so Mahesh has also added his email ID. So if you, I think it would be good if you send an email to Mahesh instead of me, because Mahesh is full time on this thing. So friends, let's do this. If you know anyone, or even Herschel, you know IIT professor, please send all the details to Mahesh and Mahesh will kind of, I, I talk to Mahesh on WhatsApp every day. So we'll, uh, then that information will fo flow through. Yes. Yeah. So and the form also linked to the my email. So any 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 form submission will uh, received by me. Okay. So how far we are in this development of POC? Well, we have just started to be honest. 
it's been i think mahesh what like one month now or more than month right yes sir. uh more than one month sir uh, it's uh, nearly two months i think so it's nearly two months and two months back mahesh and i was talking and then we posted in discord community we get all these folks we are doing some research right now and the thing that we have achieved so far is we have built a team we have uh, built a website and we have done some research some yolo some research in yolo tried to find some pre trained model but uh, to be honest to be honest we have not made any significant process a uh, progress so far it is just kind of in a research phase okay will it be possible to come up with some task for selecting the volunteers it will be helpful uh, yeah so uh, vic uh, vic so i don't you, uh, can you go ahead man i actually rishab done some yeah i actually rishab and uh, sangam and did some great research on the uh, software implementation side sir um if uh, if rishab is uh, uh, if rishab is okay then uh, it's better he will present it his idea i see i see so yeah rishab i if you don't have a presentation you can verbally discuss like whatever you have done yeah like uh, uh, implementation possibilities and uh, issues yeah like that okay sir hello everyone uh, so it's been two months around two months we are working on this project and so currently we are uh, we are in a phase of researching models so in the phase we selected uh, we did research on couple of models and we selected yolo we try to implement on some base models and some ba some base data sets and uh, so it gave us a pretty good accuracy and uh, speed but according to our project and our needs we'll need to improve that so currently we are working on improving the speed and accuracy as per mahesh's need and as per our project so yeah we are in the research phase right now okay Good. So, so we are using YOLO. YOLO is a famous framework for object detection, and uh, we actually this is a challenging project. We will need a lot of raw video footage. So, at some point, I can ask you guys to even uh, you know you can even help with the data collection because data collection is an important part of any machine learning project. So, if you guys can provide some raw video footage, and you know if we can train on that. Uh, you know that would be nice but we'll go step by step and we'll announce whenever that thing is needed so anyone who is watching you can contribute in variety of ways as i said like you can help with data collection you can even help with uh you can help by connecting us with other industry expert like how hershel uh, mentioned his iit prof delhi's professor's name right so like connecting us or 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 if you yourself are experience in this field you can help I, another thing is even if you are not experienced and if you have willingness to pro, uh, contribute to project please send us um, a request and we'll evaluate all of that and then we'll select uh, the team okay all right linkedin is just optional so can we share this project in social definitely varun go ahead we should share this project on social media linkedin as much as we can varun great idea please everyone share share we want to spread out the word okay we have the website website the internal server issue will take care of it but um share share the word with the whole world we want to we want to make sure that people know about it and we can and that will only help with the project Yes, so we are going to do. So Sai Prasad is saying that we are going to get a lot of volunteer requests. So yes, there will be kind of like an interview process or some process so that we can select uh, people carefully. It's not like we cannot an onboard hundred people in one shot; otherwise, it becomes a mess. Yes, Vic. So Vic NLP volunteers. Yes, we are looking for it. Send an email to Mahesh email ID. So Mahesh, can you post your email ID once again here? So Mahesh, I think we posted Mahesh email ID. Yeah, 
yeah so see send send an email to this okay send an email to mahesh email id which is this so how we can implement this in night well we don't know actually we we will take care of it see we all we know is we are doing this project okay so as we'll just tackle the first challenge then we'll just keep on tackling the more challenges as it comes so our idea would be to make it work in a daylight first and once it works in a daylight uh we can think about making it work in a night also maybe maybe next to the sensors we can have some torch or something which can illuminate your path you know <laughs> that might we be can a... go with night vision cameras okay so or yeah yeah or we just go with uh, night vision cameras all right so i think that's it uh thank you everyone for joining this live stream and all the details of volunteer etc are in the video description i am going to add mahesh email in the video description as well so now i am going to end the stream so let me go to my youtube studio and i will end the stream now thanks everyone for joining in so i'm ending the stream now thank you thank you thank you very much guys okay guys so the stream is ending